In my first video, I showed you several examples of free energy devices and how to build a perpetual motion device. Uh, what you're looking at here is several devices that are uh, batteries, basically, that will run for one to ten years and uh, are easily produced. As we walk around the house, I've also moved some of the free energy devices I have to windows and so forth, so you can see how they work. This one is very inexpensive. It's a $1.50 uh, motion toy and one of the batteries that I produce that should last for at least two years, possibly up to five years. So this device has not stopped for several weeks now and uh, I plan to just leave it running until so either the parts wear out or the battery fails which uh, I hope will be a number of years. Have a great day. Now I know nothing goes past Unity, but as you can see, as it's getting darker, the toy on the left has stopped running because it doesn't have enough photons hitting the solar cell, whereas the device on the right continues to work because the nickel cadmium battery in the solar cell that's up above uh, is now driving the toy on the right. So my point to all of this is practical perpetual motion should be considered the only thing we care about and practical free energy. If you get more than three months of use out of a device that never stops working seven days a week, 24 hours a day, and you, uh, and you, you can use it for, make it be useful in some way, and it will, and it runs for at least three months, and it costs less than one cent per use, then just accept the fact that that's practical free energy and a practical perpetual motion device. I believe that this device here will run for years. So thanks and hope you have a good day. My other point to all of this is that as it gets darker and the battery takes over for this other toy that I have running, you can see that during the daytime the solar cell that you can see right down at the base of the leaves takes over but at night the battery takes over and since this is a crystal cell battery that will last for multiple years it meets my criterion for both practical perpetual motion and practical free energy. Have a great day!